Understanding Uterine Contractions and HIE. A uterine contraction during childbirth can be defined as a tightening motion of the uterus as a part of the childbirthing process. Contractions can come in multiple types. For example, prior to actual labor, a woman may experience contractions called Braxton Hicks. Braxton Hicks contractions are sometimes classified as false labor. During labor and delivery, doctors and nurses can monitor contraction patterns with the use of the electronic fetal heart monitor. The device is attached to the mother and provides a printout or readings of not only the baby's heart rate, but also mother's contractions and their patterns. Contractions play an important role in helping with the delivery of the baby. Now let's talk about uterine contractions and HIE. In our context, HIE or hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy is a medical condition which consists of a reduced level of blood and oxygen which can lead to a brain injury. Monitoring the contractions and contraction patterns is important during labor and delivery. Doctors and nurses will look at the beginning of one contraction to the beginning of the next contraction. The documented range in general for contractions, for example, will be between every two to five minutes. The medical condition tachycystole is defined as more than five contractions in a 10 minute window or contractions lasting for more than two minutes in duration. Tachycystole can be dangerous because it can impact oxygen and blood flow to the child. The umbilical cord is one of the main areas of concern when mother is having too many contractions in a 10 minute window. Because HIE is a condition which is created by blood and oxygen issues, tachycystole undiagnosed and not monitored can be extremely dangerous. To help treat this condition, medical professionals can place mom on her left side, give IV fluids, and give oxygen. In addition, discontinuation of oxytocin, if it is being provided, may occur. Thanks for taking the time to listen. This is Marcus at HIE Resource Place. We will talk with you next time.